If you follow us on the Ask Scooby forum, you've probably learned that cardio plays an important role in losing weight, besides, of course, looking after your nutrition. What we often hear in conjunction with cardio and losing weight is the notion that people think they have to keep their pulse in a certain range so that they keep losing weight which is not true. And to explain why this is not true, I have to give you a little background information on how your body uses its fuel sources and what fuel sources it has available. Basically, there are two. One is carbohydrates, the other is fat. Your body can store carbohydrates only in very limited amounts while it can store lots and lots of fat, as most of us know, through the layers of fat we might acquire over time. Carbohydrates then are used when your body needs a lot of fuel immediately, like for fast running. Fat is used for low maintenance activities like, for example, when you sit on your couch and watch a movie. How much of each fuel source your body uses depends on how strenuous the activity is you do. It always uses a mixture of both, but the more strenuous the activity is, the more fuel comes from carbohydrates. For example, if you run at 50% of your maximum heart rate, about 85% of the fuel your body uses comes from fat and only 10% come from carbohydrates. On the other hand, if you run at 80% of your maximum heart rate, about 85% of the energy your body uses comes from carbohydrates and only 15% come from fat. So after this lengthy explanation of the fuel sources your body has, you might ask, now when does finally the fat burning pulse come in? As you remember, we said your body always uses a mixture of both fat and carbohydrates and it depends on how strenuous the activity is. Now, let's imagine you are a marathon runner and you aim for running a whole 42 kilometers continuously and to the end. What happens to this marathon runner when he runs out of carbohydrates at kilometer 30? He won't be able to keep up the speed he has kept up to this point because just as we said, even when most of the energy your body uses comes from fat, you still burn some carbohydrates and if there aren't any carbohydrates anymore available you will run into problems because breaking down fat for fuel is a more complicated process and takes longer time. So what marathon runners do is they try to aim at a speed where still most of the energy they use comes from fat and that they will keep carbohydrates available until the very end of their run. What does this mean for those of you who simply run to lose weight? Well, no matter what, if the energy you use comes from fat or carbohydrates, you burn energy. And as long as you don't put it back in after you finished your run, 
it doesn't matter if more of it came from carbohydrates or fat. This really only matters to people who are trained endurance athletes. Now finally you might say, hey, so I'll just run at 50% of my maximum heart rate because then most of the energy my body uses will come from fat and I'll lose more fat then. No. And I'll give you a simple equation to explain why no. Let's take two people of the same age, height, weight and with the same level of physical fitness and we let them both run for the same amount of time. The first person does so at 40% of their maximum heart rate and burns about 400 calories of which 70% are from fat and only 30% are from carbohydrates. The second person however runs at 80% of their maximum heart rate and burns 700 calories of which 50% are from fat and 50% are from carbohydrates. The person who ran at a lower intensity burned 31 grams of fat, 70% of 400 calories, where 1 gram of fat is 9 calories. But the person who ran at 80% of their maximum heart rate burned 39 grams of fat, 50% of 700 calories, which means, in other words, the first person used a higher percentage of fat while they ran. However, the second person burned more energy in total, including of course, fat. If you have any questions about this video, please ask on the Ask Scooby forum where we'll be happy to help you. I hope that this video helped you uh, already along a little. And in other words, this was it. Bye bye.